Hello, my name is Lucas. I'm here once again to talk about another Kurt Vonnegut novel, uh, and that would be Dead Eye Dick, uh, which is another novel. <laughs> We're hitting a streak, uh, which is supposed to be Kurt Vonnegut's uh, downward turn, uh, in the middle of his downward turn. Um, because after, from what I remember in the biography, after um, Slaughterhouse-Five, which was him at his peak, at his most popular, you know, he publishes Breakfast of Champions, which I know is a favorite for a lot of people. I don't know why. It's not a very good novel. Uh, and then I believe after that was Slapstick, or maybe it was Slapstick and then Breakfast of Champions. Uh, either way, both are bad. Slapstick is terrible. <laughs> Uh, most of his work is terrible, to be honest. I don't know why he's so successful. Um, I'm, I'm complaining because I'm going to say nice things uh, about this novel. I thought it was, again, one of his more mature works. And once again, when he is being mature, although, you know, he has his Vonnegutisms, he has the way of writing, the way he does his satire, sort of these wild ideas. Uh, some things don't quite work for me. But overall, I, I kind of think it's pretty good. It could be that it's sort of tackling issues that I, uh, in a way that I agree with, uh, whereas normally I just feel like I, I, I don't, even with these novels that I enjoy, I don't feel like I'm, mm, I feel like I'm just kind of reading somebody who gets it, you know, like sees, yeah, this is a problem and they're writing about it in an interesting way. Uh, this novel, Dead Eye Dick, uh, is about, I forgot his name, it's called Dead Eye Dick, I wrote it down, Rudy Waltz, um, I have my iPad over here, uh, Rudy Waltz uh, killed a woman at a very young age, uh, and this, with a gun, uh, and he's called Dead Eye Dick, uh, and I, there's a quote in there somewhere about if he, if he aims for nothing, he shoots nothing, because uh, he's got a dead eye or something like that. <laughs> Um, but I think this is one of his most mature works. It's tackling prescription drugs uh, and gun control uh, and uh, has some interesting, I don't know if it really works, but has some interesting elements to it uh, in the writing style in that there are these recipes <laughs> that are so important to Rudy. Um, I don't really... I don't have a negative opinion of it. It's just kind of there to me. I, I okay. Uh, it sort of is a breath of fresh air in a way to transition to something else. Um, and there's other parts that are written like plays, which is quite interesting um, because they come at some very dramatic moments uh, in the novel, I find. Um, and I really appreciate that myself. Um, there's another really cool part, very science fiction part, something I really like uh, about this novel. I need to start complaining before I say too many nice things. <laughs> uh, again, for Vonnegut, I think this is a pretty good book. Uh, overall, yeah, it's all right. I like it. Fine. I did say Jailbird might be my favorite, but Dead Eye Dick might be my favorite. It might be like Jailbird 1A, Dead Eye Dick 1B. Two is Slaughterhouse Five. I'm not totally sure, but uh, it, it pains me to say nice things about Kurt Vonnegut after just a rough slog of pain and torture. Player piano was nonsense, but fine ultimately. I, I like thinking back. I don't really understand what he was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just, I feel like satire has to be based on reality. Uh, and I know I didn't live during the 50s, so, and I didn't see the things he's seen, but I don't know, there's just something about his sense of humor where he just goes for, he just goes for it, you know, uh, with biting sarcasm. Uh, and you, sometimes you can feel it like, ouch, dang, he got it just exactly. Na ha nail, hammered that nail in, whatever, hit the nail on the hammer, hit the nail on the head. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, even in the books that I don't like, but when he, like, okay, the satires, 
but most of the time for me, I really don't find him very funny. Uh, and I still don't find him funny in these novels um, that I do enjoy. Um, I just don't think he's that funny of a writer. And most of his satire, it's just, it feels like it's not based on reality at all in any way. <sighs> and he's very polemical, pole polemic. Uh, there, what is that word? Again, I can't remember it. What are you like? I am the teacher, and you are the student, and I will let you know what I think, and you will learn from me. <sighs> There's a word for it, and I was hoping by snapping just now that it would come to me. But, um, I don't know. Usually his satire doesn't really work. I think here it works just fine, and in the scathing kind of way. I, I never find it all that funny, still. Uh, but I don't find it insulting or nonsensical like I normally do. Um, there is the science fiction element of this bomb called a neutron bomb, uh, which wipes out this town. I believe it's Midland, Ohio. That's where he's from. Midland City. Um, and Midland City has been destroyed by the neutron bomb, which does no damage to any infrastructure, but will anybody within the blast radius is, like, evaporated. Which is, you know, he, he dives sort of deep into this idea of, like, you know, what happens then, and, and you know, it does start to question, like, what is life, and what, where can you go from there if you're a survivor, and, and, you know, all these different ideas that come from it, and I felt like, Okay, see, we, we can explore these kind of ideas together, Kurt Vonnegut. Thank you for taking it seriously, thinking a very interesting idea. I think there is a kind of bomb imagined in Slaughterhouse-Five. I didn't talk about it in that video, where a bomb blows up, and instead of destroying buildings, it rebuilds them. Another very cool kind of concept to think about. But I'm not talking about Dead Eye Dick enough. Um, yeah, I, I think maybe because these last two novels especially, sort of I agree on a, with its politics, so to speak, so I'm more open to it compared to something like Mother Night, which is just a godless novel about <laughs> nothing important and needs to be um, something that people choose not to read, I hope. Uh, be, or they can, you know, you can make up your own mind, uh, but once you read 10 pages in, you will see that it is truly terrible. But, Dead Eye Dick, not a terrible novel. Uh, one of his three good ones. Thank you.